Why do you pray like that? Why? Why do you pray with so much disbelief? Why do you not pray with hope? Getting our prayers answered is a very, very big issue that we all battle with. And I feel like there, there has not been so much light thrown into it. I was, talk I was talking to a friend some time ago and he was like, if the way he prays and that is how we get the things that we want is he would have been so rich or the mother would have been a very very rich woman by now and i was like what do you mean by that it was like because god takes time to answer his prayers god doesn't answer his prayers so i'm like well, how would you say god does answer his prayers he said my mom has been praying for some things since the day they were born up till now they are still praying nothing has changed and i'm like how do you even pray how do you pray the day the holy spirit actually opened my eyes to realize this thing to actually know that i have been doing some certain things wrongly then the veil from your eyes and that thing in your mind is going to actually change that narrative in your head and your mind will change because whenever you feel like ah, god does answers or god takes too long we might actually be the one what if I tell you that we are the reasons why our prayers get delayed, our prayers don't get answered, and it now feels like God doesn't hear us whenever we call on him, or God doesn't hear us when we pray. God has always been there. He has never left. God has given us everything, like everything we need, everything that we aim to desire, he has given us everything according to his riches and power and glory. I repeat, everything. God is so good. Like the Bible also says that in Jeremiah 32, verse 37, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Like, is there anything too difficult for me to do? There is nothing. I don't know how you feel like oh the kind of sickness you are having or what you're actually going through and you feel like it's just so big for god to handle oh my god that is the devil telling you that's what the devil does the devil tries to change the narrative it tries to make you feel that your problem is so big your problem is just so it's just so impossible this thing can never you can never get your deliverance you can never get that faith you can never get that hope and you forget when the bible also says that before you were actually formed in your mother's womb i knew you and another plans that i have for you to give you a glorious and a beautiful end god has invested and given us so much will in us that it takes us to agree with what he's saying before we can start seeing our manifestations god is not waiting for you to receive what he has already given to you when you start applying the right thing and start doing the right thing you will start seeing your manifestation now the problem now is how do we pray the problem with us is that most times we mistake faith with hope we pray with disbelief I'm here to tell you that faith and hope are two different things. Faith is not hope and hope is not faith. If you have to be offered a dollar bill right now and say, do you want this dollar bill? Someone said, do you want this dollar bill? And you are like, I'm not sure I want it. Then you won't be given a dollar bill. Because the dollar bill is yours already. Your name has already been written on it. And the person is just stretching his hand and saying, take this dollar bill you are looking at it and you are saying you are not sure or you hope to get the dollar bill what is already yours when you're supposed to be like in faith and just say yes it is mine i have gotten it thank you for giving me this dollar bill you collect it because it's your possession so that is what the devil has been doing to us believers as and a lot of people it just robs you of 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 what is already yours God has already given you everything according to his riches and power, according to his riches in glory. God has given you everything. But what the devil does is to rob you of that which God has already given to you. 
to change the narrative to make you feel like it's not yours or you are not deserving of what is already yours you cannot be praying for for a breakthrough or you cannot be praying to receive the gifts of the holy spirit and saying father lord i hope i receive the gift of the holy spirit or you are praying for for a breakthrough and say yeah i hope i get this uh, money that i want to get no wanting something from god doesn't get the job done yes nobody has told you before this is me telling you what gets the job done is faith it is faith that gets the job done don't go anywhere stay tuned to the end of this video so don't miss out on any part and if you're watching right now and you've not liked and share please do well to share this video because there is someone who actually needs to hear this and get up on his feet wipe away their tears and get back to what god has caused them to be get back to who they are there's someone who actually needs to hear and see this video right now so please do well to share this video to the person like and subscribe to be part of our amazing family the only thing that gets the job done is faith and when i mean faith i'm talking of the bible kind of faith the bible kind of faith faith already makes you believe that you have gotten it already so now when i mean faith and hope are not the same thing hope is like the future things hope is in future things you are hoping to get something in future things like the church is hoping and believing for the return of king jesus and that is the hope of the church and that is what actually purifies our body making us you know which helps to purify the body of christ yes that is the hope of the church that is the hope of the world that to wait for the coming of our lord jesus christ we don't know yet when nobody knows the time no man knows the hour no one knows the time when jesus is coming but that is the hope that purifies the church and the body of christ that is the hope that purifies us so it's in future things but faith is now if you want to get your healing if you want to get healed from paralysis if you want to get healed from a deadly disease and you do not want to die you don't just hope to get healed you want to get healed and that is faith faith is present things like faith is what i want to happen now i want this to happen right now that is faith that is faith that is not hope that is faith there is nowhere in the Bible that says that when we pray, we shall receive what we hoped for. There is nowhere in the Bible that says that. But this is what Mark 11 verse 24 says. It says, whatsoever things ye desire when you pray, believe that ye have received them. Not you shall have them, that you you shall receive it that you have received everything already believe and guess what it that goes on to say and you shall have them not believe whatsoever things you desire when you hope hope and you shall have no he said believe that you have received that already which you are actually praying to get from god so the process or the means of we getting our prayers answered is number one believing god first hope is future things faith is now faith is now like i said you are hoping to get your deliverance you're hoping to get your healing you're hoping to get the gifts of the holy spirit you cannot just want you don't want it in future you want it to happen now so why when you are praying why do you pray in doubt why do you pray in disbelief why do you pray like you don't believe that God can actually answer you? Why do you pray like that? Why? Why do you pray with so much disbelief? Why do you not pray with hope? Why do you not pray in faith? Faith is now. Faith is action. Faith is of the heart, not of the head. When I mean faith is of the heart and not of the head, that means faith does not care about what is happening to you right now the bible says god has already said by his stripes you are healed already by his stripes you are healed by his stripes you are already healed like you are healed not you will be healed you are healed already in as much as you you're professing that word you are saying and the devil will be making you say ha no no nothing can help you the doctors have written you off 
this one has said this this one has said that who is man to say when god has not said who is man to change what god has spoken to you god is true and every man is a what a liar every man everything every principality the devil is a liar so begin to see yourself the way god sees you god is not waiting for you to get what he has already given to you have faith and take action and receive what god has given to you then you start seeing your prayers get answers like everything begins to work out so fine and you see that you have just been the problem you have not been taking it or doing it the right way turn your faith loose by saying what you believe turn your faith loose by saying what you believe Bible says, for without faith, you cannot please God. Turn that faith loose. Shake out that disbelief. The Bible says in the book of Mark 11, 23, Whosoever shall say to this mountain, Be thou removed and cast into the sea, without any doubt in his heart, but has, but has believed that which he has said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. He shall have it. If he shall believe that which he has said will come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. He said, if you can say to this mountain, be removed and cast into the sea, and you believe it. Oh. The Bible says, behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. There is nothing too cumbersome. There is nothing too mighty for God to do. It's just us. Believe. We have to believe and our minds need to come in agreement. So today I'm telling you, whenever you pray, do not pray with disbelief. Whenever you pray, do not hope to receive what God has already given to you. When you pray, you ask God for mercy and lay down your requests and say the things and whatever you feel like you're lacking and you need, just ask for it and begin to give thanks to God. Because God has already provided everything that we need according to his riches in glory and honor. And believe it and do not dwell on it. Believe it with your heart. Believe, don't dwell on it. Even if right now it's looking like it's be everything you are saying is becoming worse. God is still good. God's plans are bigger than ours. God has orchestrated everything to work and flow properly for us. That which you seek to receive, he has done it. That which you seek to get, he has done it already for you. We can use our Jesus as a very, very good example. When he wanted to feed 5,000 people, imagine Jesus feeding 5,000 people with just you know, five loaves of bread and two fishes. Just that. And it's multiplied and it was more than enough that it even remained some people even took some of them home and it was no magic jesus did not pray and say father father lord please help me i believe he did not say father i hope that this thing increase oh hey please oh hey how will i do this but jesus lifted it up he lifted those food up and he gave thanks that is a secret most people don't even realize even we as humans if I do something for you and you don't tell me thank you, I won't do that thing again for you. Like if I say that you don't have an attitude of thanks or an appreciative spirit, you won't get things again from me or you won't get things away from the person. So even as even to man being appreciative and giving thanks, when you are always giving thanks and acknowledging something good has been done for you, it attracts more blessings how much more god how much more god god has already given us everything already so do not let the devil strip you off your peace do not let the devil strip you off your peace or make you feel like that thing you are aiming to get god cannot give it to you it's a lie god has given you everything your healing you are healed Say it by his stripes you are healed. God didn't that was not how God created you to God didn't create you to suffer. God wants you to live your best life and satisfy him with your salvation. That is the plan of God for you. So, dear beautiful people, 
God answers prayers. You just need to work on yourself. You need to work on your mind and restructure your mind. The mind is so powerful. It's so funny how people, people who do not believe in God, you see somebody worshipping this book and say this book is their God. And what happens? Which is somebody, you see somebody worshipping a stone, a lifeless thing. And because of that power, there is this force. Because of that power, and the person believes that uh, that thing that he wants, he will get it. And the thing somehow begins to work for that person. How much more God? Hi. How much more our Heavenly Father? Don't worry. He said, I did not create you to worry. Do not worry for nothing. All you need to be doing is to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And if you that thing shall be added unto you, do not worry. Ah, you will be fine. You are fine already. Thank you so much for joining me and stopping by and watching till the end. If you watch to the end, God bless you so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Trust me, there are you could actually lift up a soul or help a body to actually be lifted right now okay don't forget jesus loves you and god got you god has never left he will never leave he has always been there keep trusting god whenever you pray take action and believe that what you asked for you have gotten it thank you guys so much for joining me and today i'll see you guys in my next one bye